good evening friends welcome on the second day of our technology week we have a wonderful uh, product and services to showcase for the benefit of the profession uh, it's not uh, some advertisement or kind of it's just a showcase of the products available uh, and you can use uh, to the expertise your the uh, in the uh, practice or the industry both way it is a uh, useful uh, we have a wonderful uh, guest today with us we have aniket bhai talati uh, youngest central council member from amdavad we welcome you sir on our platform uh, we have a uh, ca sanjay banwal sir head application and system advisory chaturvedi shah uh, we are welcoming you sir uh, we also have a vikas jain sir uh, sir will join uh, shortly uh, we have vinod patiwal ji uh, vice chairman also and the co-founder easy cloud vice chairman baroda branch we have a vijendra bhai jain a secretary of sai branch and our friend uh, we also have a ca uh, jai savla our friend head product and crm at bombay we welcome you jai bhai so uh, before we uh, start anything uh, would like to request now uh, directly to aniket bhai uh, for keynote address on the importance of, of technology in the profession and uh, uh, apart from that sari the council member so also speak on of the activities of the institute uh, as per the his convenience so over to you aniket bhai uh, thank you so much virag bhai who's been the pioneer who's the organizer of this fantastic concept this series uh, my compliments virag bhai the amount of efforts that you are putting in all throughout this lockdown and even the unlock phase in making sure that members are using technology uh, to leverage their practice they are able to understand what are the nuances of technology how they can improve their own working and i think not just on technology all your sessions that you have focused on maybe enhancement of knowledge technical topics or some special series where i had the privilege of being where you had uh, specially able chartered accountants who were guests and you were taken their interview had a very good interaction i think you are doing a great motivational work virag bhai my heartiest compliments and congratulations to you uh, may god bless you we'll keep continue doing this wonderful work uh, i also am glad that in today's session we have uh, vinod paliwali ji who's uh, my dear friend from baroda the vice chairman there also you know a person deeply involved in technology and in fact i can share with you he has offered some of the solutions at almost free of cost to the institute just to make sure that we can also adopt certain technologies for our vikasas for our branches so vinod ji we welcome you uh of course vijendra jain ji i have known him for a lot of years uh, great to see you sir and of the two panelists who are going to speak today sanjay ji jay bhai all of you uh, dear participants a very good afternoon i am this year given the responsibility at the central council of being the convener that is equivalent of a chairman of the committee which is called the digital reengineering and learning directorate so what falls within this committee is the entire reengineering process of the institute the digital reengineering and the learning directorate is basically how uh, we would have program provided learning to members and students using technology let me very honestly share with you when this task was given to me on february the 12th and may, and i was made the chairman of this committee the target was that i had to pro, you know propagate teach our members how learning is happening internationally and some of you may be aware others might not but internationally for years cpes were being done online that is through seminars virtually through programs and other means and i was given the task by the president that aniket by the end of the year uh, 50000 of our chartered accountants we have almost 350000 chartered accountants closely 150000 are in practice who are doing structured cpe so from them the idea was that if we can get 50000 chartered accountants to migrate from traditional cpe which is sitting in classrooms and attending and coming on the portal and attending that would have been a great challenge and a great achievement for the full year of course you know we can convert challenges into opportunities bang in the middle in march came covid and it accelerated the adoption of technology so what was a challenge to me to be done in the full year that is to reach 50000 chartered accountants i am happy to share with you as of today 1 lakh plus chartered accountants are using this technology this portal to gain structured learning so again people will say i have been uh, you know historic i have done historic work but honestly very little effort from me majorly it has been uh, first 
mother nature which brought in this pandemic but more importantly all of you members who with open arms adopted and in this pandemic we could have easily chosen to hang our boots put our feet up and say we will see how things go but the thirst for hunger our search for improvisation the confidence in ourselves that yes we can improve our skills even in this time we want to learn more we want to adopt uh, the best forms of technology and ensured that this product that was launched by the institute digital learning hub has become the single source of education for all our members and our students for those of you who are not using it yet i would request you please visit the digital learning hub it is the single source where all certificate courses are happening over 100 batches of certificate courses it may be forensics it may be concurrent audit it may be any other certificate course that the institute is doing they are all happening through the digital learning hub besides that we have recorded sessions and i would not call them lectures because these are all uh, scrum content where you can go and learn for example auditing standards code of ethics you simply log in you will get the video you will get the content which is in the ebook format so you can edit you can highlight you can make notes you can move along at your own pace even if you pause and sign out two days later you will sign in you will rejoin restart from the same position and your structured learning will be given to you so you are getting structured cpe free of cost at this digital learning hub this was my dream project for the year and i'm glad to share with you that that has fructified thanks to all of you because of whom this has been made possible so yes the institute has moved from learning in halls just 6 months ago to now making sure that you are getting your cpe online now let's talk about the other aspects where we all interact with our institute it is what if we are in a partnership firm we file a form 18 to update maybe the address maybe add a partner maybe add a paid assistant we file 102103 for the articles who get registered under us one year ago this was all happening physically and we used to sign it if you are in ahmedabad you go to dco if you are in mumbai pkc office you go and file it we adopted and last year i had the privilege of being a part of that team which implemented what is the ssp the self service portal where all member and student activities today are online and again huge moment of pride for me to tell you that almost 80% of members are live on that website every day 40000 requests just try and understand 40000 people are logging into ssp on a daily basis we are receiving more than 50000 requests on a daily basis and they are all getting approved and the most important part even during lockdown when the country was not working you went to income tax department they said we are not working you went to any other place they were not working not a single day did we stop working at the institute and everything moved seamlessly firms got reconstituted chartered accountants got their membership associates became fellows people who did not have a cop could apply for a cop articles got registered or removed and this all happened in the midst of pandemic and why was it possible it is possible because we as the institute have embraced technology with open arms the entire process of application rather registration of a student to the completion to becoming members and at the end finally uh, paying a membership fees is totally become online small statistics i have been in charge of the social media of the uh, ici also just to give you some statistics we started with some 50000 followers on twitter we are three times that and again our engagement on social media has increased and how have i been able to leverage one small statistics that i can give you till last year we had 65000 odd students who registered for foundation similar number in the prior year this year our biggest fear was that 30th of june will be the last date for registration of foundation students and in the middle of pandemic when people have not given their 12th exam how will they register we ran an e campaign which is extremely efficient facebook twitter youtube instagram all media where this generation is present we targeted 11th and 12th commerce students 26 lakh students were reached through this outreach campaign and i'm proud to tell you that we have not lost a single student the same number of foundation students have registered even for this year prior year so not one person will miss the opportunity to become a chartered accountant and this again is possible because of use of social media so ssp which made sure that our entire functioning went online dlh the learning hub which made sure our learning is online and then the social media which made sure the interaction between members in the institute is online the crux that i am trying to tell you dear friends is 
if the institute which is a 70 year old organization and uh, you know we have because jenji who has joined us he has experience of working at the branch and region we have other participants who have tremendous experience uh, vijendra ji or vinod ji who have worked with the institute for so many years will tell you this is as good as a government organization which takes so much time to get things done from our staff which works in the same way as a government organization but if a 70 year old organization could move in one and a half years to being totally technology driven why can't you and me as practitioners move our own office in less than one and a half month? that is the question the only thing required is the will main saalon se ye cheez aise hi kar raha tha aur isiliye mujhe aage karni hai that cannot be the answer we have to start thinking that this is the change that has come up and i have to adopt rather be ahead of the curve and adopt these changes we were able to do all the activities that we were doing before lockdown even during lockdown because we had this technology the same should be for our firm if tomorrow there is again a lockdown or another pandemic today it's china virus tomorrow let's say there is a korea virus even at that time we must be able to function our office and that can be done if we use technology so excellent initiatives that have been taken by the team here to spread the knowledge i can only share with you technology is also going to be not just uh, being able to work in pandemic situation but going to be your biggest savior in what aspects one today when we are finding it difficult for our staff to come to office and do the audit if we can use technology reduce the amount of dependence of human intervention use technology for example to do sampling to find exception reporting and then reduce the man hours required on every audit job and let technology do some ledger analysis some other aspects for you this way you will save cost one two if the staff is not there you will still be more efficiently and effectively do the audit and three our documentation standards can improve far far higher today we are doing a good audit but how many of us can put a hand to our heart and say we are documenting it correctly you picked up a sample what was the basis of a sample we don't know but if you have a software which picks up the sample and says these are the samples we selected from the total population it is audit evidence for you it is complying with your standards on auditing and also making sure that tomorrow if the audit picks gets picked up for scrutiny in disciplinary by nfra by mca by sfio or even by cbi you have the proof to say that i have followed the standards used technology to audit so tremendous benefits that we can get by leveraging technology the institute has moved forward question is when will you and me move forward before i conclude i just want to share with you a small diagram i hope it is visible on all your screen and this is yes. the beauty that we have done with this year we were in charge of revamping the entire ici website and today our entire institute's website is revamped it is fast it is simple you can go to all branches all websites from the same portal and most importantly we have come up with this one concept of the wall the wall is one place where all your services relating to the ICI it may be for you as ethical standards board just to go and check the revised code of ethics you will get it here the examination portal for students you will get it here you may want to get placement the PDC portal and the other job portals are here all portals which are available within the Institute are all put up in this one single slide where all core applications of the institute have been listed and you can go ahead and use this so friends um, with this i hope that the message is loud and clear to everybody who's attending the institute has moved the government has moved from filing physical returns we moved to e-returns we moved to now e-assessments which are going to happen and then e-appeals ICI has moved government has moved the international bodies have moved the only thing that needs to keep pace with this movement is your and my firms our practices and for that i'm glad that viraji has kept this session please my request to all of you will be with open arms and with a clear thought process adopt these technologies the institute will make sure that whatever is needed for you to guide you to adopt technology will be done you are aware the dcmm 2.0 was recently launched on the digital learning hub there is a step-by-step -step approach of how your firm can move digital answer questions the first question for example is do you have a website 
if you answer yes you get a point if you say no there is guidance at the end which tells you how you can make a website what are the portals available what is the cost you must have an email gone are the days when you could have said aniket at gmail.com if my firm's name is viraksha and company it must be aniket at viraksha and company that gives professionalism we often cry we are not paid our fees are low but our behavior has to be professional to match up to the standard to demand such fees so i hope with this uh, overall 360 degree view i have been able to give you the importance of technology in our audit in our taxation in our presentation to our clients to third parties to regulators and most importantly to improve the efficiencies in our office uh, with these words i thank virag bhai once again for inviting me i wish all the participants all the very best thank you very much thank you thank you so much anike bhai it's our pleasure you came and uh, talk for the technology at the institute level and uh, obviously at the practice level and other things uh, i will uh, ensure you or will try our best that we are trying uh, as an indi independent individual level or our partners like vinod bhai or jay bhai they are developing the product yesterday yesterday also we have a, a one practice management software that is also government uh, recognized startup from jaipur so if we all will try definitely our profession will be a technology driven profession so uh, uh, thank you so much aniket bhai once again and we uh, also have now now joined vikas bhai so would like to welcome vikas bhai and would request vikas bhai for the their uh, uh, address to all the attendees for the importance of technology on the prof in the profession so over to you vikas bhai thank you very much virag bhai once again for i would compliment you for coming out with the beautiful topic the need of the day again technology is the key and there is the data as is, is being said is the oil for the future and aniket bhai and i have been an experience of working for almost 10 years now together and uh, aniket bhai is a man of technology i would say he he always uh, keeps on taking decisions which will boost technologies and Uh, with he being into the council we have seen uh, tremendous uh, uh, this revamping of the website or this uh, platform ssp and all these things so i am sure long way to go still but within such a short time the hiccups that has been removed and so many more things are being now available on a click of the button so absolutely the technology the miracle of technology we are witnessing and i am sure uh, many more things uh, will be done in the times to come and uh, Uh, Vinod Bhai Elwani is there, Vice Chairman Baroda Branch, very good friend of mine, and uh, I have witnessed his software. We are also using the software that uh, he has developed, and constantly engaged him with him. Our team is always there, so as to see that the things which we need, and Vinod Bhai is so proactive to make those changes and everything, so so as to see that the best of the software is available to all the members and the practices improves. Vijendra Bhai again, very good friend of mine. Uh, Jay Bhai, we have met in Mumbai earlier, so I know you, Sanjay Ji. So it's it's great to see you all in this uh, program, and I'm sure together we can, and definitely uh, uh, this uh, technology will be able to take to the next level. And this is this is not a cup of the tea for one firm or two firm or one organization or two organization, but many more big uh, this organizations when we come together we can create, and that is the need of the hour. And I'm sure. Uh, Vinod Bhai and all uh, Jay Bhai and Sanjay Bhai will be able to have the best of the technology with you guys. Thank you for having me. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you so much, Vikas Bhai. Uh, it's always great to invite you in all our programs, and you are kind enough, despite of your busy schedule, you join us, accept our invitation immediately. So thank you so much, Vikas Bhai. Uh, now would like to uh, request uh, Sanjay Bhai, Sanjay sir, uh, for their uh, address. and i will share the screen as well okay so just want to give a brief about sanjay sir sanjay banwa sir is a highly committed professional with distinguished professional qualification of chartered accountant and cost accountancy with close to 22 years of professional experience in audit taxation internal control finance and sap system design and implementation he is also a certified forensic auditor from icai he has close to 12 years of experience in international working exposure in the countries usa brunei philippines qatar dubai and yemen his experience include working as senior advisory consultant in sap practice management large scale sap projects in different industry like oil and gas shipping pharma ship building consumer durable tractor power his experience include working with ibm lnt infotech 
Taj Group of Hotels, Mitsui, and uh, Nakilet, where he has handled a project for clients like G, Total Gillette, uh, PSEG, Knox, and many more companies. Presently, he is heading application and system advisory vertical within the Chaturvedi and Shah, and a, a leading chartered accounting firm in India. We all know by a, a Reliance Auditor kind of uh, from uh, last so many years. And the uh, Reliance is now number one in uh, India and uh, number fifth in the world. So, uh, the role of chartered accountant or role of auditor, we cannot ignore in the uh, importance of this uh, milestone of the Reliance. So with this word, I would like to request Sanjay sir for the uh, keynote address. Uh, so over to you Sanjay sir. Thank you. Thank you so much Virag, uh, Virag Saji. And, uh, uh, I also would like to uh, say thanks to Jay Savala for uh, inviting me for this uh, wonderful uh, technology week and uh, I'm amazed to see uh, uh, and uh, I just want to uh, uh, take uh, what Aniket ji was saying uh, uh, what institute could not do in last 70 years uh, and achieved in last one and a half years those are the eye openers for any uh, person if you want to do a transformation and, and that too in the digital transformation it's your will and desire and of course you need support from the top level then only you can achieve uh, this type of uh, transformation and a uh, few things which he uh, mentioned i am glad that uh, uh, in at chaturvedi and Shah, we are uh, going through that and uh, in last couple of years uh, i joined them in 2018 and uh, we are on that digital transformation journey so i i just quickly run through the slide which uh, i have uh, are you able to see my slides yes sir yes sir sure so uh, what we did first we identified the areas uh, where we want to do the digital transformation so uh, first and foremost area was attendance and payroll system so we wanted to automate our attendance and integrate it with the payroll so once a person uh, puts his in or out then attendance is marked and then it gets connected to the payroll second uh, project we adopted uh, was the audit planning and documentation what aniket bhai was saying so we wanted to use some software where we can do the audit planning we can we can have all the documentation captured and monitor that also then we move to the audit data analytics and sampling exactly what Aniket Bhai was saying so then we identified one software which will allow us to do the audit data analytics and sampling then we also have a big uh, tax uh, division in our firm so we, we are looking for some tax related so, uh, solution and we identified one product for that and finally we uh, currently we are working on the uh, balance confirmation which is another pain area for auditors so uh, let me run through uh, quickly uh, on the attendance and payroll so uh, uh, see uh, for attendance and payroll what we did we identified a company called matrix cosse capta so cosse capta uh, what we had uh, thought about whenever we are going for any uh, software so we wanted to have uh, very big flexibility and scalability so uh, flexibility like you can access it from anywhere so uh, this is a mobile app based tool so people can access from anywhere then we mapped geo location of all our clients so if you are going to say reliance you mentioned so if you are going for reliance audit then person from there can punch in we also configured leave approval late arrival approval everything in this uh, cosse capta app and finally we integrated this uh, uh, attendance tool with uh, saral payroll so what happens when you punch in or punch out or you take leave through this cosse capta same thing gets reflected in this saral payroll and at the end of the month uh, automatically salary gets calculated saral also gives us uh, uh, options to attach all your investment proof related uh, documents so you don't need to chase your uh, uh, finance uh, accounts team you are allowed to upload all your details on your own so uh, this helped us a lot so uh, uh, now no one is following up anyone uh, like you have not updated your attendance or leave so everything is mapped through the uh, this uh, these two solutions for audit planning and documentation then we uh, identified papilio 
Papilio is a cloud-based uh, audit document management solution. So uh, it allowed us to uh, map our master data comprehensively. So master data like clients and employees. So we uh, I, uh, like also we uh, you know Reliance or any other uh, big group will have lots of uh, companies within them. So we are able to map client with a group assignment. Then we could also create multiple templates for in this audit or in the gap uh, audit. So based on what uh, our institute suggests, so we have applied those and created a templates. And then using those templates, we are able to create service. It is called. So if you have a say stat audit or limited review, so all these are called services. So for each client, we create one service for one uh, stat audit or for one limited audit, limited review. Then all these services then get assigned to the audit team members and best part of uh, uh, this software is at the beginning of the year we are able to automatically create services for if we have say 100 clients so all 100 client services are get created within few minutes. Uh, just upload the template and then everything is uh, created and you are uh, allowed to monitor uh, at uh, mo monitor the work done. And in the services, then we also assign the team members. Uh, we have a partner, managers, articles, all of them you can assign in those services. And then and they can uh, update the documents in the Papilio. It's a cloud based, so there is no limitation on the upload. So all the supporting documents then get attached to uh, these audit services. So it has helped our team member a lot uh, in monitoring uh, where they do stand in a particular audit. Or, where are the documents whether everything has been captured or not so the, uh, now let me go to the next uh, this is a audit data analytics and sampling so uh, we uh, uh, identified caseware idea for this purpose caseware idea it's a canadian company owned uh, idea basically we uh, and idea is a uh, owned by uh, caseware and caseware is a canadian company globally they are renowned for audit data analytics and our institute also recommend to use idea in fact uh, we get a discounted price also if uh, you are a chartered accountancy firm idea the best part is uh, it allows you to do a complete data transformation so you can generate data from tally or from sap oracle any uh, system and then you uh, upload the data into idea and then you can do uh, different types of data analytics you can do uh, benford analysis you can do relative size factor you can do sampling in sampling they provide multiple options like attribute sampling stratified random sampling so we have uh, created procedures so uh, depending on the type of client type of processes the client is having we identified what type of sampling methods you uh, and audit team should be applying then another beautiful part of idea is uh, idea scripts it's an automation so uh, we identified certain uh, analytics reports uh, related to gl for example we identified that okay show me all the transactions which were posted on weekend so me all the transactions uh, which were posted after the period was over so all these things uh, analytics were created once and then uh, we converted it into idea scripts so now uh, our uh, audit team goes to the clients and they have been given a standardized data template so they ask the clients to provide their information in those specific format and then they upload those data and idea generates the scripts within few minutes so this again has helped the, our audit team to do a qualitative audit using the idea software. Uh, as I mentioned, we have a large tax department. So we, uh, we are looking for a, a, a tax management solution as well. Paplio was not meeting our requirements. So we focused on Jamku. And Jamku is again a cloud-based management tax management solution, and uh, its uh, best part of Jamku is it's available on App Store as well as Google Play Store. Uh, another good part of Jamku was they uh, helped us to uh, they customize their uh, solution with our requirement because we had uh, some specific requirement which we were not, we could not find in other software. So they customized uh, uh, their product to meet that. 
and again in jamku also we have a, uh, we can do the complete monitoring of various uh, types of tax services we have like uh, cit appeals or maybe uh, time barred uh, or high court supreme court so all those things uh, we create as a separate services and then we associate people they do the time writing there everything is available online and uh, at the management level uh, they can view okay uh, how much time a team has spent on a particular client or for a particular type of service so all these things help a lot in monitoring then they provide a work done analytics with there you have a various parameters with uh, where you can do uh, lots of uh, analysis they provide a very comprehensive dashboard as well last uh, we are currently working with firmware uh, it's a uh, balance confirmation uh, software and uh, i am we took uh, two times demos and we uh, first i had taken a demo and then our senior partners took the demos and we were very uh, happy as a uh, uh, you know i have been working in sap for last 17 18 years so i understand how the uh, integration works and how uh, what's the importance of uh, data analytics and uh, dashboard so uh, what we saw in firmware it has been designed like any big erp software so i could feel like okay i'm looking like uh, this software looks like a sap type of software where you do uh, uh, you can drill down from one place to another you can go back you can come forward so all those features are there uh, and uh, another beautiful part of firmware we felt it involves audit also so if i am doing audit of uh, say reliance or raymond so uh, raymond will be involved in my audit uh, when we are sending the balance confirmation so they have to confirm yes whatever we are sending for confirmation they agree to that and then they provide you to and fro communication between our audit client and their customers or vendors for balance confirmation so what does it mean like if uh, say i have sent a balance confirmation for 1 lakh of rupees and uh, their customer says no no it's not 1 lakh it's 90000 only then uh, the customer is given option to enter the difference region for the difference and attach certain documents supporting documents and then the uh, audit will receive that information and then they can respond back and all these things are uh, available in a, in a uh, report format so all these communication can be downloaded in excel and can become my uh, audit documentation and again uh, here we have the comprehensive dashboard so we can uh, understand uh, see at a particular time how much we had sent for audit confirmation how much we have received so far what is the pending amount which customer or vendor has not confirmed yet so uh, we felt it's very comprehensive and we are working with jay savla and his team to implement in our firm so uh, this is what i had uh, in our my presentation so uh, uh, I, and I believe uh, uh, what uh, Anike Talati ji was saying, uh, today is uh, the time to go for uh, uh, utilizing as much software as you can, because you cannot do data, see the data at the client level, if uh, you are having a client who are using SAP or big ERP, then you, uh, trust me, you cannot do analysis unless you use certain uh, technology. It's humanly impossible to do that. Uh, so uh, with that <laughs> i would uh, conclude uh, and i hope uh, people uh, use as much technology as possible in their day to day operations in their audit uh, thank you thank you so much thank you uh, sir for uh, enlightening us about the technology and the product our uh, product and services what chaturvedin shah is a leading firm in india using and help the uh, understand the other smps whoever is attend uh, the, uh, online at present and we will be visit on the youtube channel of our connect uh, uv so they can uh, see a uh, later part so we are very thankful to you sir uh, accepting our invitation and coming on our platform sir thank you so much and the enlightening all the our attendees on technology part so we are very thankful to you now would like to request jai saula uh, to uh, start his presentation he is the head product and uh, crm at Bombay, which is uh, one of the uh, 
was uh, incubated by the ICI, one of the four, and he is uh, they are also selected, and also a BSc uh, incubator startup, uh, apart from government recognized. So it's a uh, wonderful that our fraternity uh, uh, as a chartered accountant is growing from the normal day to day practice and uh, having a startup kind of and uh, using a technology and creating technology for other chartered accountants. So with this, I would like to welcome Jai Bhai uh, and uh, request him to start the panel. So what do you Jai Bhai? Jaiva, you are not ready. No, no, not yet. Yeah, please try, Jaiva. Without your phone, please start if possible. not audible. Uh, you, can, uh, you can remove the earphone and uh, uh, try one more time. Earphone is not required, Jai Bhai. No, 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 not, uh, not. Uh, we are not able to hear you. So I think, uh, Jai Bhai, uh, there is. Uh, I think Jaiba is relogging. So, uh, meanwhile, if you uh, would like to request uh, Vinod Bhai to uh, say something on importance of the uh, website in the CA profession, uh, like digital presence. So, how a uh, website will help the uh, SME forms. Right. So, should I start my presentation or just uh, fill up? Uh, a yeah. pillar at the kind of uh, will uh, give one more chance to Jai Bhai. He is relogging at present. So basically, meanwhile, if I can share you. Uh, so I would like to say that go to Google. I will ask all my audience to go to Google and search GST return filing. Right. I will show you the results in my demonstration. And you will be surprised to see the list of the available option. There you will have uh, clear text, right? So all those guys which are who are not chartered accountants, their list will be available, right? So the business is going from chartered accountants to the technology company. It's a matter of concern for us, and we should definitely do something about it. And this is what I'm going to show in my presentation today. It's a serious matter uh, because uh, Virat, right? So uh, I, 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 I don't understand. We have so much of knowledge, but we are using that knowledge to help our clients. And I'm, you know, it's very sad to say that we are not using our knowledge for our betterment of profession. Why? It's a matter of concern. I'm definitely going to display this 
the my concerns and my way of dealing with those things i will show you i will definitely you know uh, all the attendees are definitely uh, going to gain a lot today uh, this is my responsibility right to showcase what they are missing and may it's not necessary that i will be the service provider but what you are missing is the main point it will the uh, it, will, it will create a burning desire to seek for the solution right so that will definitely enlighten the uh, members present today and they are definitely going to benefit from this session yeah uh, so we'll see the presentation and the quick uh, 30 minute website also uh, so jai bhai are, are you there now yeah 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 Hello? okay so just uh, on your camera and would like to yeah. request now to start the presentation at the earliest sure, sure. so we can cover from in the time available so yeah so thanks thanks a lot viral for uh, giving us this opportunity i think uh, we've been hearing a lot regarding uh, how we can digitize our practice how we can use new automation tools and uh, uh, make use of it so that we are able to uh, make uh, scale our practice so that we are able to cope up with the external environment so uh, over here i have two live cases wherein i can i'll be showcasing you where uh, how our these tools can be used for your uh, uh, purpose and wherein you can use these tools to automate two of the functions in your form right so yeah so yeah i hope my uh, voice is audible now and the screen is uh, also visible screen also visible audible also you are not visible okay. if possible just on your camera yeah yeah i'll try it try it just a second And the screen also, you can make it a uh, full screen. Full screen, yeah, I'll do that. I think let me start. Uh, I'm trying to switch on the uh, webcam, but I'm facing some issues. Yeah, not I just start with the presentation. Start. Yeah. Please, please. Jai Bhai, we are not able to listen you. Jai Bhai, you are not audible. I think we should uh, drop this. We are not audible at all. Uh, we can request Vinod Bhai. Vinod Bhai, please start your presentation. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, I already make a presenter. You can uh, uh, show your screen and uh, start the session. Just a minute.
Virag, I'm new to this. Can you help me how to share yeah, my you screen? You have to just show the screen. You have to just click on show screen. Uh, I'm using MacBook. Just a minute. It did allow me to, it did ask me. Just now, minute. now, please check. Now it will ask. Okay, go to webinar. Would like to capture this. Okay, open system preference. Also on your camera, sir. Yeah, just a minute, sir. Okay, I'm re uh, Hello. Yes, yes. Yes. That is my screen visible? Not, not yet. You have to uh, click on show my screen, kind of. Uh, can you request me again? Okay. Show my screen. Yeah. Perfect. I think it's visible now. Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, uh, myself, you know, Pelwani, and I'm thankful to Virat to give me this opportunity to share my views how chartered accountants can get benefited from the technology, what they can do, what minimum they can do to get many benefit. So I am believer of 80-20 uh, rule, that is Pareto principle. Uh, we need to do 20% efforts to get the 80% result on the first phase. So today, see, the product is very detailed one, but I would request you to make 20% efforts to get 80% results. Before moving on to my presentation, I would like to show you a video. And with that video, that video will help me in setting the context uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing. So. Here is the video for you. Uh, am I audible? Hello? Bye, please Hello? perfect. Yeah. Please okay. continue, yes. Internet knowledge economy. It has changed the way we live, interact, and buy. Delivery drones. Digital menu at restaurants. Driverless cars. Challenges to be relevant, you need to change the way of creating value, communicating value, and delivering value. Google search result because of Google, buyer is informed, buyer values speed, and buyer values convenience. Clear text India filings, you'll search. Compare your websites and you will find why these IT companies are capturing CA industry. Number one cost of operations is loss, standardization, automation, and people dependent. Number two, visible online, searchable on Google, social media, and online marketing. Number three, it's their business, not practice. No code of conduct, no constraints and expansions. CAs does not equal doctors. No one can do medical practice except doctors. Anyone can do accounting practice, which makes CAs powerful genie. Cannot use power for himself. Solution. Four things to work on at Easy Cloud Books is this mission. Number one online directory of CAs. Provides credibility, removes risk of fake CAs. People can search, visit firm website and Engage CAs nearby. Number two, ready to use. Content ready websites for members. Member will save valuable time in getting ready their websites. Number three, practice management automation. 
members will be able to save time, productive management time, focus on important advisory services. Number four, knowledge management software. Ready to use. Templates for onboarding clients team, checklist, processes, email templates, procedures, etc. Help us to help you. Like, subscribe, share, easy cloud books. Setting this context, mm -hmm. I would like to say the problem the chartered, chartered accountant faces. First and foremost, uh, I am practicing for last 18 years and I realized that most of the time I work long hours. I don't provide the family time that other professions are providing. My potential was logged in recurring tasks. How to unlock that potential to achieve more, to offer advisory services. So that was the matter of concern. And I was looking for solution. I tried many solutions, but couldn't find one which will really liberate me, which will really free me to do more. So I thought, why not I should do something about it? So this is the product, Easy Cloud Books. It's not a product, it's basically a mission. I told you we are on a mission to help professionals do more. So the way to do is to free them from recurring tasks. And when, once they get free, I will help them. Our team will help them in exploring what more, more they can do with their time. So uh, as the uh, main agenda is Easy Cloud Books Practice Management Software, I start with this. When you log into Easy Cloud Books, this is what it lives. This is your login area. This is the dashboard. This is welcome area where you will see what is important today. How many due dates are there? So first of all, Virag, is it OK if I uh, combine Hindi with English? Yes, yes. Uh, OK, fine. Uh, major quite English because we have a participant from South as well. OK, fine, fine. No issues, no issues. The first problem that chartered accountant face is due date management. So what I try to give them on dashboard due dates today, due date this week and overdue. So this is a count of projects which are overdue. Clicking this number, I will go to the list of the work that are overdue. So you can see these are the overdue projects, right? So you can see that the number is 39, but it displays 41. Why? The reason is two overdues maybe today. So this is the count every getting refreshed every morning, right? So if something is getting due, this is on hourly basis. So something is getting due today. So that count will increase. Okay. Now there are the 41 projects which are overdue. Here you will see project means company name, service name, and period. Right? So this is the work which is overdue, which you have missed. The, the due date has already passed. So this is a list of projects which are overdue. Now you can definitely see why it is overdue. You can discuss. So this is the discussion happened in the project. This is a demo account. So all these the text is demo text, but you can visualize why this task is pending. Who is the in charge of the project manager? Clicking this, you can change the project number manager, right? So this is the first thing that is due date management. You can easily manage your due dates. So our uh, assurance is to re reduce the number of due dates that we miss. Second is project completed. So over a period of time, we do realize that this week was not good for us. We didn't work more. Right, what we have could buy, what we could have, right? So to uh, that creates tension in your mind. I thought, why not I provide on click of the button? I should provide you list of the projects that you have completed within this week. 
yesterday this week or this month right so same way like i was clicking the number 39 right i was getting the result same way completed projects on clicking the count you will be able to see list of projects getting completed right you can see it you can check it so this is yesterday this week and this month now here you will see another thing that is budget we believe in less of management and more of results i mean to say that if i can help you that these are the projects which we completed and what is the recovery that is hourly cost recovery you employ employees you pay salary to them hourly rate is cost for you okay now the work done by them as per standard rate is nothing but the recovery you can compare cost with recovery so i can provide you detail like this current month salary payment is 2 lakh rupees and we made cost recovery of 3 lakh rupees or i can provide you like this we made salary payment of 2 lakh rupees and cost recovery i'm talking about cost recovery not the revenue recovery so suppose this month you have you did just only gst work 3b okay and suppose for 3b you are charging at whatever price to client but you say the standard costing for each and every service that each and every 3b is 400 rupees and suppose current month you did 1000 3b's so you made a recovery of 4 lakh rupees now out of 4 lakh rupees recovery you made actually salary payment of 4 lakh 50000 it denotes that you are paying 50000 more than the cost recovery you are making as per the standard costing rates i hope it is clear to you right next is project tax friends chartered account is a profession which is a unique habit if you look at the things they have a unique habit of making list keeping list so maybe you want to ask your team member how many clients projects are pending just because of the signature or how many projects are pending where i need to get involved and solve the queries with the uh, client so those kind of list is required by chartered this is nowhere in any other profession this is only in case of chartered accountants we do prepare different list we ask our team member to get less list ready for income tax return which are pending just for chalan payment or gst return which are pending from chalan payment or audits which are pending just for signature of client or digital signature so those kind of list we require we ask on daily basis so this is a serious problem how to solve it so what we did in each and every project you can assign a tag tag is a simple thing tag you must be using in other softwares as well so here also you can apply a tag to any project like this if i add a tag escalate okay and save it that tag is added now i can use it for filter purpose so say for example there are two project escalate if i click this i will get the project list which are pending because of tagging can you see escalate so the habit of list is there in our breed and that should be easy to do right so you can develop standards in your office these are the tags that we are going to use to create list different kind of list and you can train your team member the uh, the tag they are supposed to use on uh, at what situation they are use, supposed to use which kind of tags so this will help you this will keep list of projects handy okay next is accounts tag like project tax our uh, software also provides billing and collection solution so you can have automated billing now suppose you did billing but the collection is pending the client is asking for discount or client is uh, not ready to make payment 
or there is dispute with dispute between the rate of uh, charge the charges that you are charging to that client so you can create a list so that why the list is required the list is required because at particular time right you are in a particular frame of mind and you want to handle all those clients with that particular frame of mind so this list is very uh, useful and this is actually being used by chartered accountants so this will definitely help you so likewise company tax contact tax it will provide you company tax you can create list of companies related to different uh, list contact tax now last one is product deviation so from uh, uh, let me share you that i am also management consultant so my funda is to provide whenever client seeks me any my advice i help them by giving giving them some numbers key number they are supposed to track so i don't go beyond 10 numbers so i give them the numbers criteria that these are the number you are supposed to track and same way for this software i thought the main number is project deviation related to turnaround time so suppose in your office you set a standards like turnaround time for 3b is 3 days turnaround time for income tax return is 5 days turnaround time for audit is 10 days now my software should help you how many projects are getting giving uh, are consuming more time than the standard time so these are the 40 projects the turnover time of those projects exceeded the standard time then other thing is over costing so suppose if you set standard for each and every service say for example for 3b you set a standard the costing is 400 rupees standard costing is 400 this is the internal cost i'm talking about not the charges you are charging to client so suppose you set the standard 400 is the internal costing internal costing means the time you are using for completion of the job now if 400 400 is uh, is the costing then i should help you in identifying the projects which are costing more than the standards clicking the number you will be able to go to those list of projects and there you will find two things either project is over costing because of inefficiency of our team member or client job is now getting complex and we need to charge more today the situation is we are losing our money because we don't have any other way to find out which client we should charge more so that is the problem we wanted to solve another thing is related to chartered accountants especially chartered accountants give so much commitments and they get so much commitment from client client will say sir main monday ko aata or you will say to officer sir i will come on tuesday i will come all the, with all the documents on thursday now who is going to help you who is going to remind you that today these are the commitments so we found out the solution for each and every project there is a note facility if you provide note here like this the client will come on 30th okay and you select the date save it now on 30th right you should when you start your day you should have a important notes today so this is a personal secretary for you you can have a personal you can afford personal secretary uh, who will remind you the commitments for today either those commitments you are given to client commitment given to uh, officers or you have received commitment from client for payment or for project now i go to uh, you can meanwhile you can ask me any questions on chatbot i will deal with all those questions at the end of the presentation the software is you know very uh, uh, huge so i may not be able to go into detail but if you have any questions and you would like to have one on one demo 
we can definitely arrange that. Uh, we have detailed demo already there on YouTube channel as well. You can view it and we can discuss uh, if you have any concerns related to the software. Now, next module is uh, company module. So company module is nothing but your client list. This is the minimum module which is required for practice management software. So every practice management software will definitely have this feature. List of clients. Now, I thought there should be something more into it. I should be able to find out how many services I'm offering to this particular client. With clickable return, you can see I am offering three services to this particular client, right? I'm offering zero services to this particular client. I'm offering two services to this particular client. If I click here, I can add more service like this. Save it. Now, I thought one more thing I require. Chartered accountants uh, have curse that their billing does not happen on timely manner. I uh, undertook a research why it is so the reason is the reason is they always ask for before billing they always ask our team member what was the billing last time right so they face this situation they need to know what is the agreed price what is the rate at which we charged last time so this is it i provide you rate at which you are offering this service to this particular client you can have a default price which will be applied to all the clients but if you want to customize a price for a particular client you can do it now please go for the logic if i have done client name and services attached to it with prices is it possible my billing will be done automatically this is the question i will definitely answer this question meanwhile you can think over it is it possible or not right now next thing is when i'm dealing with this client not just i am dealing with this client my total team is dealing with this client so i will be deal, uh, i will be sharing this data with my team member now team member come and go so new team member has joined your company the issue will be introducing that team member to all the clients that is the issue how we are going to do this it's simple you can click and you can tell him for dummy limited this is the contact person for temporary dharmendra this is the contact person for raj association there are two contact person you can introduce them like this right so it will be easy for your team member to onboard and to understand the culture who's who who's who that they can understand so you can see that this is the contact person on mouse over you will be able to see email id and password so it's very easy for him to communicate to client next thing again tagging feature is also there that i already showed you you can tag and you can create a list of clients now one more thing i thought that we should provide we provide so many services to client but we need to impress as well we need to remind them your digital signature is getting expired or that particular license that you are having is going to expire so what we did we provided license management facility so what you can do you go into it you can add licenses applicable right you can add licenses and expiry date of that so on that particular day that client will be notified for the expired license maybe i th i think this is a, a good business building exercise maybe you are not that particular uh, you are providing any service related to particular license but email from you will definitely build relationship with client right so uh, this is it uh, related to client management now i will again come to this point i am offering three services to this client 
dummy limited i am offering three services and raj associated i am offering two services suppose if i can visualize these two businesses are of similar nature why i am offering only two services to this particular client why can't i offer one more service so there is hidden potential hidden business but we do not analyze the data and we are missing our business our approach is always looking for new clients that is the uh, problem i see i think we can generate a lot of revenue from our existing client if we are able to analyze the data right so this is a suggestion one more thing look at this dummy limited i am offering three services right and those three services certain services can be of recurring nature compliance nature if i go to service level this is setting if i go to service area and if i set the standards like this now suppose this is service area this will display number of services you are offering in your form okay now you can set the scheduler for service this is monthly service if you provide recurring pattern here let me show you uh this is the me so the, the scheduler is not there but you can provide every month at 11 am right the project should get created okay now for each and every service if you provide the recurring pattern and if you apply that service to each and every client the project should get created automatically let me give you an example today is 28th okay now 1st of august project will be getting created for 3b for july for all the clients whom we are offering 3b service let me repeat again suppose we have 200 clients to whom we are offering 3b service i need to link 3b service to this to all the 200 clients second i need to provide setting in our service the recurring pattern that's all if you did this what will happen the project will get automatically created i think is very simple to do only two things to do first link the service to each and every client second provide the recurring pattern if you do these two, two simple steps what you will be getting on regular basis the project will be created automatically i again repeat the project will be getting created automatically right now without software what you are doing every time you are preparing an excel sheet right that is tedious task that is the uh, unproductive day uh, unproductive way of dealing with things so this is it project will be getting created automatically i will continue with an example of 3b i have 200 clients and to all those 200 clients i provide 3b service i need not create project manually project would be getting created automatically and they will appear on this stage there are two ways of creating project for recurring project for compliance services project will be getting created automatically if you have added that service to client second if you have provided scheduler to that particular service right so project will automatically created and will appear only this is the software where you will see phases our project passes through our project passes through different phases different stages the first stage is client has not given us the document that is lead i again repeat client has not given us the document second stage client has given us the document but our team member have not started working on it you can look at your services all the services will have this pattern 700 projects client has not given us the uh, detail 118 projects client has given us the detail but our team has not started working on it why because they are busy with some other work 
Fifty four projects are actually in progress. Sixty projects on hold, and twenty five projects completed this week. After completion, it goes to review mode and finish mode. This is the first project you will have. Maker checker concept. That means project getting completed goes to the reviewer. If he is satisfied, he finishes the project. If he is not satisfied, he again move it back to in progress, stating the notes. Okay. Now projects we have done on two level. First is list level. So uh, for this example, you consider this is your form. Nine hundred and thirty-two projects are pending. Why? No, sorry, nine hundred thirty-two projects are pending. Out of that, seven hundred client has not given us the detail. So we are burdened with only two thirty-two because seven hundred clients have not given us the document. What we can do with the seven hundred clients? We actually cannot do. We cannot work on those projects unless and until client give us the document. We cannot do anything on it. But what we can do on seven hundred projects? We can hire one team member. To make calls, which we are doing right now. Second, we can send them email. Third, we can send them SMS. What if I tell you that we can do it automatically? I tell automatically, not the bulk SMS or bulk email. No, that is the unproductive way of doing things. I tell you that we can automate it. So once the project is on lead. Automatic email should get triggered to client. Boss, we have started your project. Kindly give us these, these documents, and that email will be template oriented. It will change from service to service as per your customization. So whatever customization you provide for GST, this kind of email should get triggered, and it will be mail merge, huh? personalized email. That means his name will be replaced, his service name will be replaced. Contact person name will be replaced. Project members name will be replaced. You getting my point? So that kind of personalized email will get triggered to client when project is on lead. Now, uh, would you consider that one email or one SMS will uh, bring client with details? No, one email will not do. So what we need to do? We, we need to provide till the time project is on lead every Monday. Every Thursday, as per your requirement, every Monday, email should get triggered to client. This is what you require. Okay, so every Monday, email will get triggered to client. This will increase probability that client will come on his own. You need not call them, right? This will increase the probability. But there are certain clients; they will not come unless and until some of your team member calls them, right? Now. When some team member is calling that client, you need to keep track of who has called, when they are called, what the client discuss. So they can provide like this. Your team member can mention like this, sir. I have called him. He will give on thirtieth. Okay, you save it. Now you see. The color has changed from red to blue. This indicates that whatever we could do today, we have done. Again, this will turn red on 30th because this will trigger again to that particular team member. This is calling day again. Okay. So likewise, you can move the project. Now suppose this client has come and given you the detail. All you need to do change the stage from lead to not started. I am clicking this. You can check the numbers. Okay, so this is how project moves from different stages. Now, one more thing. I have uh, created project on two layers. First is list view. This is a list view. This is good for owners or practice managers. This is good. This does work. Why? Because I am able to see number of projects pending, stage where it is pending. Why it is pending? These are the main areas. This is the main area where we should work. If you did only this, these things, I'm telling you what you are getting. First, how many projects are pending? Second, at what stage it is pending? 
third why it is pending right that kind of discussion you can have okay right so suppose the project is in progress it will ask you status like this as a project manager mention when you are planning to finish the work likewise you know it's a it's a gamification that we have done which will motivate your team member to move project from lead to completed as early as possible right so this is the gamification mode now for owners this is this is the uh, this will bring this will solve 80% of the problem you can check yourself and one suggestion whether you buy easy cloud book or any other software you should not go for features you should go for the solution they are offering so you for solution the first part is identify the problem which you are facing unless and until you have problem don't buy any software identify the problem which you are which you are you want to solve and then seek for the solution feature is not the solution i tell you this is the mistake we are doing when we are buying any software we should look for solution to our problem and i tell you that the major problem that a chartered accountant faces is not knowing total workload not knowing the stages at which the workload is pending and not knowing the reason if you implement this system this system only this will help you first implementation is easy i think it's very easy to move the project and keep at the correct stage if you just implement this part of the software i tell you that 80% of the problem will be solved now i move ahead if i'm sitting with a, uh, any team member and i want to analyze his work what i will do i will select team member filter his name and i'll be getting all the projects with that particular team member you getting my point now you can discuss what is pending etc you can filter for service as well you can filter in combination staff and service okay you can filter period wise as well right you can filter company wise as well so you can filter company wise as well now question is are these filters sufficient this is the question because as and when you will evolve you will need more i need this i need that what if i tell you that i am able to provide you filters 1 crore filters would you believe it i again repeat the number is perfect i am able to provide you 1 crore filter right because i understand that as we evolve our requirement will change tomorrow i may come with come up with the idea i want to see all those projects pending related to new clients now i am going to solve this problem should i create it again no i have already provided you th that solution suppose tomorrow you come to uh, say that i need solution that i want to filter new clients of public limited company i want new clients public limited company from mumbai area only i want new client public limited only from mumbai area related to this industry so these are the combination that you can look for so what we did we created filters right this is a filter right so you can see what i have done these are the filter options so you can provide like this uh, i want to filter out all the projects related to clients whose fees is pending beyond 50000 rupees i want to stop their work can i do this so this is the requirement how to do this i want to filter out projects with multiple options so what i did i have given you option to create your own filter this is called custom filter you can have your choice and this is provided in combination so you can have multiple variables with combination of and or etc equal to not equal to right and you can think uh, you can use grouping as well you can use grouping as well like you know what uh, next few minutes 
okay fine 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 i'll i'll uh, give me five, 10 minutes please vikas uh, okay okay yeah okay i'll i'll be as fast as possible right please please so you can have filters and you can save these filters this is same way the the way you are doing tele query you can save these queries for later use purpose so you can have like this you can filter it out and use it so this is the power you have with us with you now next is suppose you want to view uh, uh, the other thing is i'll fast as fast as possible now you are uh, the project is actually on two layers first level is list view second is detail view now detail view is basically you want to help your team member about sops so you can mention like this is the sop right this is to do you can write anything to do etc now you will ask me whether i have to create to dos again and again no you can uh, improve uh, import from templates so we have a, we will provide you list of templates available in the market and you can create your own so this is the first software where we are providing market facility as well you can import all the services related to you it will come all the with it will come with all the templates with all the to dos which you can import in your uh, organization and you can use it uh there are many features i will just be uh, briefing you about it so uh, uh, one more feature is personalized gadget so i like i told you that i am master of uh, get, uh, uh, numbers so what i do i provide you a uh, facility to create your own gadgets gadget is nothing but the dashboard personalized dashboard you can create for each and every team member you can identify the numbers for which they are responsible and you can help them in quoting those numbers on their dashboard and they can improve on it so i'll be now brief about the uh, briefing about the other features available you can see projects review finish project import if you want to start the company it should be easy for you to import the projects pending projects in your office it is there scheduler so this is one thing that that is uh, uh, i mean uh, this is this is one thing where any other softwares are lacking is automation so what i'm providing you facility to automate anything so other softwares may be providing automation three or four automation the the uh, custom automation the facility they know, they do not provide that they provide the stock of uh, stock automation facility here you will have total automation in your power you can create your automation as per your choice there are two kinds of automation i'm just briefing you scheduler based automation or event based automation every monday this should happen this is scheduler based automation every first of january or every first of every month this should happen this is scheduler based automation if i create a contact this should happen email should get triggered to client if i complete a project email should get triggered to client those kind of automation is there right next is uh, account statement and all collection is there uh, we have total document management facility as well which is integrated with the projects as well right uh beautiful time management software is there so your team member can start working on a project and just click of the button they can start the timer timer will uh, keep the track of the times and it will help in filling up the time sheet all right so these are the details other thing is other software i am going to talk about whether i have to cover that other software as well right hello yeah so these are the facilities available there are this is software is very detailed one but i may not be able to complete on time uh, sorry for that uh, other software that i provided you we are on a mission to help chartered accountants other software is abscon what abscon basically does is it provides you facility to create your website now creating website is a challenge for chartered accountants why because we need to give details to the uh, website developer we need to provide them content right and after some efforts if we are able to create a website after some time we feel that this website is old we need to revamp it so that is again another challenge so what we did understanding this problem we are offering a website solution which is subscription based model we do not code for you templates are ready what you can do you can design your website or you can ask us will deliver your website let me show you the kind of website you will be able to deliver
and i tell you this is all content ready website is more like the website which you see of cleartex and all right so you will have detailed list of services and these websites are basically built from viewpoint of customer not from viewpoint of chartered accountants i have seen other chartered accountant website where they cover ax rules everything but the clients do not read ax rule and all so here you can see all the services right detail services okay here you will see all the checklists and steps that client is supposed to do the documents they are supposed to provide the uh, the uh, 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 requirement video documents required process involved everything so what they can do they can come to your website they can see your whatsapp number they can engage with you and if it is convenient they can engage you so that was the vision and the other reason we are working on when someone buys from your website project should get automatically created on easy cloud book so this is what we are working on uh, i think i have exceeded my time but uh, i think the uh, the message which i want to say uh, i already been conveyed to you right you should have this kind of website and that to be integrated with the uh, uh, practice management software if you do this right this is definitely going to uh, at end i will tell you uh, one or two things i'll not uh, demonstrate the project but i will tell you that uh, besides getting the software or website solution you need to work on one thing that is mindset so the mindset i mean to say that whenever you buy a solution it doesn't mean it will on the day one it will solve your problem no you need to be committed about implementing it so implementation is the challenge right so we provide you training and all and as easy cloud books the detail software we have created three phases for implementation and considering the 8020 rule that means i will suggest you follow these uh, uh, make efforts of 20% these steps and your employee software will be delivering these results so that part if if you buy any software that analogy that mindset you should have and that kind of commitment you should have and it will definitely uh, help us serve you better and uh, if you have any doubts you can contact me anytime i am available uh, on my website as well right thank you thank you virat for your time thank you thank you so much vinod ji for wonderful presentation and the nicely compiled uh, now would like to request jay bhai to start the session uh, immediately uh, i already share the screen as well so just accept the screen and would like to request uh, vinod bhai there are few question in the question tab if you can answer them so check that yeah Yeah, great great thanks virak uh, i hope my screen is visible and i also like to thank vinod that uh, there was a technical issue but he could then be the appearer in the session and we could continue the session so let me just directly take you to the uh, offerings we have and uh, then showcase you the products that we have right so uh, on my screen are the two products which i already talked about so the one is uh, Uh, audit confirmation uh, tool just yeah uh, and the second is the auto reconciliation software and you can also see the use cases of those tools have been mentioned on the screen for you so say you want to uh, automate your process for bank confirmations or customer vendor confirmations uh, loan parties or even msme so all of it could be possible through use of the software i'll just take you in there in the detail in the coming slides so uh let's look at it uh what, what are the current challenges that uh, we see the auditor face and why is the tool uh, more important and why have we seen the implementation of the tool going up to other chartered accountant firm so of late what we've seen the uh, responsibility and compliances on auditors have increased and while the time and resources being very limited so all the accounting Uh, frauds you've seen the first one to be blamed would be the auditors 
in fact a very recent case of wirecard where we saw 2 billion dollar uh, fraud wherein uh, uh, big four failed to get a bank confirmation from their banker so that is where we see the tool is gaining very much importance and how we have tried to make the process easy is what also i am going to tell you so uh, let's let's look at a specific uh, problem wherein uh, we see that what are the current challenges of these confirmation process and how do we actually overcome because knowing the fact that it is very essential uh, this piece of evidence is very essential because it is coming to you from the third party right so usually we re rely on the internal evidence which your audit gives but this can be a very powerful tool wherein now you are getting information from the third party regarding whether the ba uh, balances matches or no so looking at the, typically the challenges it's a very time consuming process so typically it will take to 15 to 20 hours per audit what we also see is the responses are quite delayed so you do not have that much time to wait for the confirmation to be received and then you sign off your balance sheet so that is where we, the solution will help you and try to uh, complete the entire process within two weeks the third thing what we also see as a challenge with current processes it is having a very low response rate so as good as 10% so how do you essentially increase this response rate and how do you make benefit of this tool is what we have also tried to cover in the solution and after that what we see there are the frequent follow ups with your clients which we you need to do uh, in case you have not got the confirmation so lot of time uh, being engaged in this and when you receive a confirmation you track it on a manual a piece of excel where you have to look at for what are the responses received and in case of differences see clarification from your client so keeping in mind these specific challenges uh, we are uh, offering a solution wherein we have automated the entire confirmation process and we assure you that the entire process gets completed within 2 weeks and also uh, ensure that it has been compliance on standards on auditing so uh, at the start of the session we also heard how we could uh, make use of the technologies and make our audit documentation stronger so this is one of the uh, use case wherein you can implement it so it what what you need to do is you just need to upload your samples on the software there is a request sent by the system and to the responder be it bank customer or vendor and you receive their responses on the software itself so quickly summarizing you what are the benefits that you get using uh, this process a is sending gets automated uh, secondly the follow ups which is a very important factor is also automated so say you run a scheduler every 3 day 5 day there is a automated follow up with the party who is not responded so that is the benefit you get using this automated tool the third thing what you get is get a real time status of whether your request is been uh, sent delivered read responded so it will be available to you on a dashboard so that will be covered as part of the demo which i am showing you and taking you through the other benefits which we give is summarizing responses key statistics also an on screen reconciliation tool which is quite helpful wherein you we usually see there are your end differences and how do we essentially boil down the uh, numbers to zero so that is where this tool is being helpful and finally what is also important as an auditor is the audit trail and the entire report so how do we get this on a click of a button on our system right so i have a recorded uh, uh, walk through of the software let me just open the video for you So it's a very low investment. It's a on cloud solution wherein uh, you will be given a login ID credential to access this tool. जब ये वीडियो विल मे नॉट प्ले यू जस्ट कंटिन्यू विद द प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल जस्ट प्ले द वीडियो आई विल बी आई विल बी डूइंग द स्पीकिंग फॉर द ऑडियंस या बट आई थिंक इट विल बी नॉट सपोर्टिंग यू ट्राई बट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल आई थिंक 
just see on your screen whether are you able to see the movement yes yes continue yeah. please okay. continue. so yeah so this is where uh, uh, it's a cloud solution wherein uh, you can uh, create the team member login on the uh, platform and wherein you can give a restricted access to say articles then uh, further uh, uh, access to audit managers and the partners so all of that is taken care of and this is the main screen where uh, you upload the file that uh, the sample file you have selected quickly showing you the excel spreadsheet uh, this also is automated so so for the clients using tally you may just use an extractor and prepare this file so what we have tried to done is uh, most of the task which wherein you have to get involved we're trying to automate it so this is a spreadsheet wherein you have details of the party uh, the email id phone number if possible there is an sms feature also available and then you state the balances which they hold as on a specific date so these are majorly used columns wherein you get a debtor creditor advances loan parties interest columns and there is also a separate column wherein you can specifically mention say you are having a, you want a security deposit confirmation so you mention the description currency and the amount a specific remark this file gets uploaded onto the system so this is the upload page where uh, uh, you will upload the file uh, there are audit type so what we have done is one is statutory audit second is we also support management confirmation so say uh, you also now want to implement or suggest recommend this tool to your client so they can use it for their management confirmations as well uh, so then you select the confirmation type whether you want balances bank balances or you want an msme confirmation then you choose the company for which you are uploading this balances for if you are a specific branch auditor then you choose that branch then you choose the date on which you are requesting this confirmation uh, you upload the file that you created uh, on the screen under the file section uh, give it a file name and click on upload so also with respect to the scalability there would be uh, no limit wherein you can upload 100 samples 1000 samples we support all numbers so we also have a maker checker control in the system a junior person uploading this and a senior verifying the confirmation before it is uh, rolled out so in this we also have a process wherein you can take your client's approval so as uh, at the start of the session uh, mr sanjay mentioned that was one of the features he liked the most so it's it's also taking the clients into confidence that these are the parties wherein we'll be sending this confirmation and finally a uh, option of selecting reminders selecting your own email id through which the confirmations are sent right so that's how simple process is right from selecting your sample and uh, shooting out the confirmations from the system so also giving you a view of how a person can respond to this so this is where he receives an email say a balanced confirmation of xyz limited and he clicks on the respond button so for him the action button is clearly visible and this is the screen where he comes to where uh, he is given an option whether the amount is correct or the amount is incorrect so this is typically with respect to prepared in compliance with the standards on auditing wherein you will have an option a and option b traditionally we used to send a a physical paper based confirmation so replicating it over here uh, so if you choose a the amount gets auto populated if you are choosing option b then the responder now has an option to enter his amount uh, there are also comments and remarks section also an option to attach his ledger so it is much beyond getting just a answer from the party there are other information is what you get through this specific uh, software and finally a confirm button so say a person has confirmed wherein the balance is not matching so this is the on screen uh, reconciliation tool which i talked about wherein the person the responder will get an option if he wants to fill up the reconciliation so he may do so or else is he'll just attach a ledger in the uh, on the screen and submit the confirmation so that is how easy it is for a responder to respond to your request so within within say two weeks of time span you complete your entire confirmation process you also adhere to all the uh, compliance standards so that is where 
it will be very useful and the tracking itself is made very easy so on a dashboard you get a details of the party how much parties have read your request how many have responded then you also have these bar charts which will give you okay 50% of my amount is confirmed and whether there is any reconciliation and whether it has been reconciled so you trace your entire end to end process on the system itself and below you can track party wise status is very new no okay this person has responded and this is a reco option available so for your client so client also has an access to this specific login so he can also have a view of this uh, on on his login and then wherein you can request him to give the reconciliation and finally uh, on the download report option you uh, you will get a detailed report sent to you on your mailbox which will have a, a zip file a zip file will have an excel file wherein the entire report would be downloaded on your desktop so here you have a detailed report wherein you look at what is the amount you have sent what is the amount the party has responded and a direct view to a confirmation pdf which gets generated from the system so this is basically a four pager document it it looks like a traditional letter that we are writing uh, the response from the opposite person and if there are any reconciliations provided by the person or the company it will be appearing and finally we also have the logs on the fourth page so uh, yeah so these are typically the logs who prepared verified replied what was his role email id ip date and time so precisely each and every detail you need to have with respect to confirmation can now be available through this tool so this is a small process that we had Uh, automated so there is one more use case wherein i like to take you through so uh, coming back on my presentation so the second use case what we see is uh, uh, so that was one of the flagship product which we launched 3 years back and this year start of the year we have also now launched a reconciliation tool so what why, why was the need of this and what exactly the tool does is uh, i'll be showing you in this com coming slides so what as a problem statement we saw is there was a revenue leakage up to 5 to 10% of net profits for all the unreconciled items which we did so that was in form of say long collection cycle there were write offs from the customer end there were loss of uh, gst credits duplicate payments internal frauds and cash flow issue so these were typically the challenges why there was a need of doing your reconciling your uh, uh, ledgers with customers and vendors but the second problem lies how do you actually do so so this can also be one of the service offering for you wherein you can now uh, subscribe to this product and uh, give a service to your clients wherein you can offer this service as a reconciliation service to your client because typically what was the problem earlier uh, we have tried to give the solution for that as well so the problem lies was how do you how do i reconcile uh, my 80% of my party so say i have 1000 uh, parties customers and vendors wherein there are differences it essentially takes me 750 mandates to reconcile the stuff so wh where is uh, what is it that the software does and how you can ensure that you reach up to this scalability and ensure that the revenue leakages are now captured so providing a, a simple solution over here wherein uh, what you do is just call for a ledger from your vendor that is uh, through the tool i showed you before upload those uh, excel files onto the software the software will automatically recognize the headings which is the invoice number which is the date run the auto reconciliation tool and download the report for your uh, your reconciliation report and what are the benefits of using this is it will save up to 90% of your reconciling time so you and i would imagine the way we are reconciling today in excel through vlookup so in the video you will easily be able to distinguish what is it that the software is providing wherein the promise that we are giving that you will be able to do 5x number of reconciliation and a guaranteed 3x return on your investment so these are the benefits that we see from this tool so let me also take you through uh the demo of the second tool
so yeah so this is uh, typically a ledger which we have extracted from tally so since tally is one of the commonly used uh, software so however the system will support any accounting software so uh, you imagine uh, you have to reconcile it with your customers and vendors so you do not have any control of the data and the format in which the data is received by you so we usually support all kind of accounting software so this is this is the second set of data this is the party data which has the date voucher number invoices and debit credit so these are the minimum columns that we require for reconciliation so there could be additional columns and in additional format so right now just showing you the basic one so this is where you can start your reconciliation wherein you mention the uh, party name whether it's a uh, uh, the statement is all item or open item and define the reconciliation period uh, for which you are reconciling it for right so you create a, uh, a new entry in the system so as soon as you create a uh, new entry in the system the system will ask you to attach the excel files so one is you attach the company ledger second is you will attach the party file yeah so once you uploaded both the ledgers on the uh, system it will show you on the right hand side whether the ledgers have been uploaded and once it is uploaded you go on to the next field which is the mapping field so over here mapping as you could see system has automatically recognized which is the invoice number column in your ledger which is the date column which is the voucher type column the debit credit whether there are two columns for debit credit so we've trained enough the system to recognize each ledgers that you are uploading so be it your company file or be it the party file it will automatically uh, catch in the header excel headers so that's the reason why i mentioned that we support all kind of accounting tools so you may up directly upload the excel file in the system and then finally once the mapping is saved you may uh, save and proceed the party mapping as well and then there is an option wherein you run a auto reconcile button so say uh, you are typically a ledger would run in uh, say 200 300 or it can also run in 50000 line entries so what result we have seen is maximum it will take 5 minutes if the line entries are say within 500 and uh, say 10 to 15 minutes uh, for a line entry which is 50000 so just imagine yourself reconciling 50000 entries it almost would take 2 to 3 days of yours to reconcile uh, the ledgers both sides so let's look at where the system is being advantages what are the output that system is providing so yeah so this is the reconciled report which i have generated from the system so it is divided into four sheets summary company file party file and the unmatched entries so let's look at it from uh, say in as a summary point of view so this is where i get to know okay how much is the difference in my closing and where is the difference lying whether it is lying in my matched entries whether it is lying in my opening or in case of uh, entries which have multiple entries so this is where you get a, a reconciled report between both your ledger and the party ledger uh, let's look at it from individual line entry wise so coming to the company sheet so the columns which are marked in orange are the ledger which is uploaded for the company the rest columns is being generated through system so taking the matched category so dividing the problem into complex simple uh, one to many many to one i'll show you each example on my screen so these are typically matched entries wherein my invoice number has been matched with the party invoice number the column which are marked in red are the opposite party's invoice number so what are the invoice number what is the amount and even a slightest difference in your amount is been highlighted so you are now knowing okay these are the amount differences which i have in these specific invoices which are matched so essentially if you see the stats these are only 65 entries of your entire ledger of 450 so where is it the software will be helpful to you so which is in invoice mismatch cases so
so these are typically those cases where you will get to see your invoice numbers are not matching ranging from a simple query to a complex query so if you are if we look at it from a column g and column l you will come to know easily that the vendor has accounted just a part of the number but you have accounted an entire number and also in the case of line entry 83 there are further additional number digits which are added so these are typically the kind of uh, issues which we face while we reconcile our data because we know there isn't discipline at maximum you could control the entries at your client's end but at vendor's end it's very difficult for us to control the way they account so that was one of the type where we could get a match for you we also run a recommendation engine wherein the invoices you could see on my screen that there are no match in the invoice still we've given you a recommendation so based on say uh, invoice date and invoice amount so that is one of the way where we recommend you so these are the documents that has been matched you also look at there are no invoice number present still we've done the match for you so this is where the entire potential of the software lies wherein uh, we what we see is 90 to 95 percent of your reconciliation is done through this tool so let's also move on to the next type of uh, uh, reconciliation is a multiple entry so typically in case of payments is where you will see where one entry so in this uh, we also have the linking so this id pertains to the company id and which id it has been linked from the party side so we'll we'll show you one one of the entries of your uh, payment is been matched with multiple entries in the party book so that is how he has accounted so that is where the software so this, you can see that these all are on one specific dates and the amount total is been matched with the amount in your books so that is how cases of one to many many to one are also considered through this reconciliation so being chartered accountant there is a lot of brain gone inside developing this thing uh, how we can actually serve uh, various industries so this there will definitely be a room wherein uh, a customization is required for a typical problem uh, for a specific industry so that is where also we give you solutions and you may then uh, have that customization possible into the system so the said whole idea is to how do you get 100 percent of the data reconciled through the system and finally you will have the last uh, uh, status as an unmatched so there you see that out of my say 450 line items so these are the line items which are not matched with the parties so that's where now you can start your work identifying that these are the items not booked and then can throw a report to your client so these are the reconciliations for these vendors and these are the invoices not been accounted so it's both two way reconciliation uh, you could see over here so we also reconcile party side so in this case there were no entries from the party end which were pending so through these two tools, you can ensure how your customer vendor reconciliations are taking place. So we also intend to go more deep inside this. So coming up would be say TDS reconciliation. So that has been one of the requests that we've been uh, receiving. So I think that is uh, it from my end. Uh, we are, I think two minutes delayed from what the scheduled time of the session was. Uh, I have my screen over here so for those who want to avail a 14 day free trial uh, i'll request a uh, interest form to be shared in the chat window so that we can uh, also help you so that so the central idea lies in how do you essentially test these tools and see whether it has been useful for you so that is re the reason we are offering you this 14 day trial wherein you can now actually implement the solution which uh, you see yeah Virag, I think that's it from my side. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a wonderful session. Even completed on time. So thank you so much, uh, despite of the technical difficulty. Uh, so yeah. all are requested to uh, check the, about the trial confirmation of 14 days. Uh, it's already shared by the uh, in the chat box. So you can check that and uh, have a look at least.
there are many uh, benefit already explained like msme and all that you can check without the uh, audit requirement or kind of so would like to request all to have a look and this is a wonderful product i uh, i mean attach with the firmware since now and it's uh, my one of the favorite product as well uh, regarding uh, this i uh, visited uh, their offices also uh, bombay is a uh, bombay stock exchange uh, incubated also as well i mean uh, apart from ici uh, bsc uh, startup zone also have uh, incubated so it's a uh, really a value addition for the our profession so and there are few questions uh, in the yeah. question tab so i think yeah. uh, um, vivek bhai i think already has few of the answered and now there are only few uh, there are few comments also for jay wonderful presentation by jay bhai from the bhupendra shah ji Uh, and uh, there are few cost impact and all question also uh, if you jay bhai can check that yeah sure uh, sorry give so, me can check that uh, i also uh, yeah uh, you can also check jay bhai uh, in the question tab so it's just above the chat yeah friends i have uh, we have a deal okay. all the data collected by fombe are maintained at i think that is already answered the data security and where is the data set i think that is already answered right that on data security yes yes yeah what is the okay. cost impact and the uh, share the link which all this recording shall be available for refresh for mind okay that i will share okay okay oh uh, i think then there is no question left all question are answered now so thank you so much jay bhai once again uh, thank you vinod bhai as well for wonderful presentation and uh, taken over the first session uh, despite of the schedule of a uh, second session uh, so thank yeah. you and we'll share on our youtube channel as well so if you like any any product or kind of you can post in your group as well whatever group you are in uh, apart from the webinar group so that uh, people can uh, have a look at least from their website or from our youtube channel as well the presentation kind of so just request to all the attendees if you are using or if you want to use or you are just thinking that this is a good product so just mention that uh, in the your whatsapp group wherever you are part of uh, with us at least not of other as well at least with our our group uh, basically uh, the city group and other group as well the where you are a part of so that will help the uh, other chartered accountant who are uh, busy uh, in the office hours and cannot have a look at at that time so they can have a look uh, at, at, at as per their convenience it will help and also you can uh, tell about the uh, initiative of this this technology week in the whatsapp group and other as well like directly pass it to me or social media uh, presence of our uh, um, uh, tag tagline or and the youtube channel comment as well so i think we can meet tomorrow at 4 o'clock for wonderful two uh, presentation tomorrow as well uh, customization in the tele format uh, as a industry wise and the uh, other aspect also of uh, uh, spark uh, which is a wonderful again uh, uh, practice management software to have a look at that as well uh, so this is from our side uh, jay bhai can we conclude now yeah yeah great thanks thanks a lot yeah, virag yeah, for yeah, this this offer uh, for three next three days right if you want, if anybody want to avail yeah yeah so that's open okay 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 thank you so much uh, jay bhai and the uh, vinod bhai and the uh, uh, vivek bhai vikas bhai aniket bhai also uh, from for the keynote speech and all, all yeah. the all the guests and all the attendees so thank you so yeah. much once again thanks thanks a lot virag thank you